Today we are going to need a blank piece of paper, a pencil, a highlighter and an eraser. I have already got started on the painting. It is important to start from what is going to be the centre of the portrait and then start to work your way out to the rest of the face. It is not looking very realistic at the moment, but don't worry, as we continue to paint, it will start to get more and more realistic. I've drawn a few more whiskers, and usually it is at this point it starts to get more realistic. As you can see, my painting has already started to make movement around the mouth area. As the painting starts to get more and more realistic, it can be difficult to continue as they tend to move more frequently. At this point, my painting wasn't sure whether it should keep its tongue in or out. It also showed interest in my pencil. <laughs> I'm very happy with how the snout area has progressed with my painting. So I started to draw the eye area. I just continue to shade the areas in as I go until I am happy with how it's looking. I've made a few little mistakes, so I'm using my eraser to fix them. Now that I have fixed my mistakes, I have went ahead and drawn the edges of the eyes. Before I continue, I just want to touch up on a few areas and shade them in a little bit more. I started to draw the top of the head, adding in strokes of fur as I continue to draw. An important thing to remember while adding in the strokes of fur is that they don't need to be perfect. The messier the strokes, the more realistic the fur looks. So far, the painting is coming out just how I imagined. I have now added the ears and spreading out the strokes of fur out just a little bit more. My painting is coming along nicely. I have drawn the rest of the fur and now I'm adding some more details. My painting has started to show interest in my pencil again. I'm starting to get really excited as it's looking very realistic and I have to say it might be my best painting yet. Just a few more touches to finish. Now I'm adding some highlight into the fur to make it pop. The painting has now finished. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching.